Welcome to Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants. We are in this stunning Gen Air kitchen at Builder Source Appliance Gallery in Albuquerque, and I am rejoined with Marie and Rita from the Church Street Cafe at Old Town. Last time you were here, you made your red chili. That's right. And that's a staple in really good New Mexican food. So this time, we're gonna use the red chili again, but first, we're gonna take a tour and show everyone your beautiful restaurant. Located in Albuquerque's Old Town, in one of the oldest buildings in all of New Mexico, Church Street Cafe is one of those special, quaint places that warmly invites you and welcomes you to enjoy some of the best New Mexican cuisine you'll ever experience. From chili con queso to carne adovada to the homemade tamale plate and vegetarian rellenos, you're sure to enjoy every mouth-watering bite. We come down here a lot just because of the atmosphere, sitting under the uh, cottonwoods and listening to the water and that kind of stuff. It also gives you the opportunity to stroll through Old Town and kind of look at the different shops and it's just kind of a magical place down here. If you haven't been to Old Town in a while, you owe it to yourself to take a memorable trip back in time for one of your best meals ever, breakfast, lunch, or dinner at Church Street Cafe. Well, Marie, it's always a joy to come down to Church Street Cafe and spend some time with you. We just love the atmosphere down here, and the food is, of course, absolutely incredible. And I know that it's a treat for our viewers, too, to come in and visit. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. One of the things that I like about Church Street Cafe is that the food here is really more northern New Mexico than it is southern New Mexico. Can you explain to our viewers what the difference is? Oh, well, it's actually northern New Mexican because of the way we do our chilies and we use more uh, vegetables like the calabacitas and the spinach and our calitas. And so where a lot of people are accustomed to beans and rice with Mexican mm -hmm. food, you use vegetables. Mm -hmm. So calitas is really a form of spinach, right? It's a spinach with a little bit of chili piquing, red chili piquing and onion. And the calabacitas is mixed vegetables. Yes. Yes, yeah, squash with corn and a little bit of green chili, and we steam it that way. I'm going to take a bite here of your chili relleno. That's the old-fashioned chili relleno. And t talk to me a little bit about this, because this is my favorite dish here, but it's not like a traditional no. chili relleno. No, it's, it's something that's done the old way. And back before they stuffed a chili with cheese and battered and fried it, they used to take shredded cheese, um, green chili, and uh, shredded pork. You roll it into a ball and just kind of more like a croquette, uh -huh. and you batter it and fry it. I don't, I don't think you can find anything better than this dish. The old-fashioned old rainbows. It's yeah. one of my favorites. You're having a combination plate. I am having a combination, and, and in the combination we have like a, a relleno. Mm -hmm. You know, we call it a vegetarian relleno because it has the way they make it now with the chili stuff with cheese. Right. We also put an enchilada and a tamale. The restaurant has a very rich history. And am, am I correct in assuming this is one of the oldest buildings in Albuquerque? It is. It is. The, actually, the house was built in 1709. And it was a residence for 300 years. The same family has lived here for 300 years, the Ruizes. And it just kind of passed generation to generation. And I purchased it in 93 and I turned it into a restaurant so that everybody could enjoy the house. Well, it's a great place to come. Thank you. And one of, one of the other things that I wanted to touch on is it's not just a restaurant, it's almost like a museum and an art gallery too. So tell us about some of the things that you have here that people can see when they come in because... A lot of Indian art and a lot of rugs and baskets and uh, a lot of really old Indian art and rugs. My aunt, my mother's sister, used to wholesale Indian art and dealt with the, the Indians and, and all the different areas and used to sell it in, in Denver at the wholesale place. So I have a lot of stuff that I've just kind of scattered all over the restaurant. There's some things from Redbird, there's old chief blankets. Where in Old Town are you? I'm directly behind the church on Church Street. So it's easy to find. Easy to find. Look for the cathedral for the church and right behind it. Right there. behind it. Well, and, and I know your mother lives here too, right? She does. She lives right behind the restaurant. And everybody here calls her grandma, and she is here more than oh, 
She's at home, isn't she? She is, she is. She's just a delight, and we're going to be meeting her a little bit later, too. Yes, of course. Terrific. And this year, you had quite an honor with your salsa, didn't you? Yeah, we won first on our hot this year. And the SCOBY Awards that they have here were the fiery food show. They were judged as first. So the SCOBY is a scale that measures hot. Yeah. So how, how hot was hot for you? I don't know. I guess it was hot enough. <laughs> well, when you come in, you need to make sure that you, after dinner on your way out the door, you buy a little bit of the salsa. Cause it's Pick up a jar of salsa. It's always great on anything. You can put really it on incredible. fish or just about anything. So. Well, we're really excited to have the opportunity to cook with you today. And I think it's just about time that we head down to Builder Source Appliance Gallery and uh, you can get an apron on with Ginger and have sure. at it, right? All right, so. let's go down. Hi, I'm Mike Williams with Builder Source Appliance Gallery. And thanks for watching today's show. Today we'll be featuring our cooking in this luxurious Jenner kitchen. In addition to these fine products, let me show you some more that Jenner has to offer. And Jenner features a full line of refrigerators. But what really stands out is their slide-in range. Jenner does make the finest slide-in range on the market today. Built-in microwave hoods mounted above, an extensive line of designer hoods and cooktops. But what really stands out in Jenner is their built-in ovens with a culinary center that takes the guesswork out of cooking. You'll find an extensive amount of Jenner on display at any of our stores in Albuquerque, Santa Fe, Las Cruces, and now in El Paso. Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants is brought to you in part by Gen Air, where innovation has finally caught up with your appetite for the extraordinary. Part of the experience of going to the Church Street Cafe is going to Old Town and stepping into your beautiful restaurant. That was, I loved seeing the tour. That well, was, thank you. It was fantastic. And we are at now at Builder Source Appliance Gallery in Albuquerque. And we are in a Gen Air kitchen, state of the art, and you're going to prepare another recipe for us. What is, what is it you brought for us today? Pasoli. It's usually a Christmas um, dish that we serve here in New Mexico, but at the restaurant, Church Street Cafe, we serve it all the time. Um, and tell us have, about the ingredients that you brought. We have a little bit of pork, some white corn, we have lime, crushed red chili, oregano, salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic. Mm. And we're going to put it all together and start making fasole. What's the first thing that you do? We can just put the corn in. Great. I'll add the corn. That, yeah, corn, that's white corn, but your mom, you call it pasole and not fasole. I call it pasole. Pasole, yeah. Yeah, pasole. Pasole, okay. And you had a good story about pasole and, uh, uh, at Christmas time. That's when uh, we go to midnight mass. And while we're at midnight mass, our pozole is cooking. And uh, we invite friends and neighbors to come over. And we, uh, we all have pozole and uh, sing or tell stories or whatever. It's a gathering. And that's a tradition in New Mexico. I think a lot of people, yes. in my family too, we have that tradition. That's right. Including, the well, we have tamales. You said you don't always have the tamales, but we have pasoli and tamales every Christmas Eve. No, tamales was not one of our uh, main dishes. But the pasol is. The pasol. Yeah. And this recipe, your recipe for pasol, is on our website at southwesthotchefs.com, and you can make this pasol just like you get at the Church Street Cafe. And this you can keep simmering all day, or you can put it in a crock pot. And what I like to do is put it in a crock pot at home, and put it on low and then you can cook it all day and by the time you get home it's ready or by the time you get back from mass like my mom does. Yeah. We like to cook the red chili on the side because a lot of times there's children or somebody that doesn't want a real hot spice in their chili or their in their soup so we put it on the side. Tell me about that when, when locals come in I'm sure they know about pasole but when you get the tourists tell me how the tourists like our New Mexican pasole. They love pasole. We serve it a lot. Um, and we do serve it with the, the red sauce or the green sauce on the side so that they can flavor it to taste because tourists a lot of times aren't used to our, our hot, spicy red chili or green chili. So. 
So for the tourists and the kids, you can get your chili on the side. On the side. Okay, Marie, so you have all of your ingredients in here. You put them all together in the pot and just let it simmer all day? Yes, I do. And I like to put it in a crock pot, actually, and it took most of the day. Which you have brought some that's cooked, I so have we, some we don't have to wait all ready. day. Yay. Yes, and would you like to try some? I would love to try some, and I want to tell you, I, I'm contributing. I have tortillas. Oh, wonderful. Warming back here on this Jenner range. It's got a griddle that's chrome infused. Look how clean it stays. I love that. So can I contribute the tortillas? It looks too nice to be a griddle. <laughs> I don't cook like you, but I, I can heat up like nobody's business. Oh, so I heat it up for nice tortillas. And warm. Yes. All right, and I'll let you guys do that because you are the experts. I'll pour some in here. Let me get you right. some soup. That is beautiful. You can see all the spices and the pork is just tender and cooked perfectly. Yummy. I like red chili on mine. How about you, ladies? I love red chili red on mine. Chili, yes, red chili right. on it. Not on the side. <laughs> <laughs> so let's put it on. Let's do it. And this is how you would serve it at the restaurant if you order on top. Just pour it on at Church yeah, Street just Cafe. Just pour it on the top. Beautiful. What a beautiful dish. That reminds me of Christmas. Doesn't it? Look and don't forget the limes. Oh. All right. That's all. Can we share? And lime is always good. You can just kind of squeeze it a little on the side. Mm. Gives it just that little bit of citrusy, tangy flavor. That's right. All right. There we go. All right. Cheers. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> you can have Christmas anytime. That's right. Mmm. Thank you so much. Good. And we'll be back <laughs> we'll right be. after this. <laughs> Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants is brought to you in part by Gen Air, where innovation has finally caught up with your appetite for the extraordinary. Part of the experience of going to the Church Street Cafe is going to Old Town and stepping into your beautiful restaurant. That was, I loved seeing the tour. That well, was, thank you. That was fantastic. And we are at now a Builder Source Appliance Gallery in Albuquerque, and we are in a Gen Air kitchen, state of the art. And you're going to prepare another recipe for us. What is, what is it you brought for us today? Pasoli. It's usually a Christmas um, dish that we serve here in New Mexico, but at the restaurant, Church Street Cafe, we serve it all the time. Um, and tell us have, about the ingredients that you brought. We have a little bit of pork, some white corn, we have lime, crushed red chili, oregano, salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic. Mm. And we're going to put it all together and start making pasoli. What's the first thing that you do? We can just put the corn in. I'll add the corn. That, yeah, corn, that's white corn, but your mom, you call it pasol and not pasol. I call it pasol. Pasol, yeah. Yeah, pasol. Pasol, okay. And you had a good story about pasol and, uh, uh, at Christmas time. That's when uh, we go to midnight mass, and while we're at midnight mass, our pasol is cooking. And, um, we invite friends and neighbors to come over, and we um, we all have pozole and uh, sing or tell stories or whatever. It's a gathering, and that's a tradition in New Mexico. I think a lot of people yes. in my family too. We have that tradition. That's right. Including well, we have tamales. You said you don't always have the tamales, but we have pozole and tamales every Christmas Eve. No, tamales was not one of our uh, main dishes. But the pasol is. The pasol is. Yeah. And this recipe, your recipe for pasol, is on our website at southwesthotchefs.com. And you can make this pasol just like you get at the Church Street Cafe. And this you can keep simmering all day, or you can put it in a crock pot. And what I like to do is put it in a crock pot at home and put it on low, and then you can cook it all day, and by the time you get home it's ready by the time you get back from mass, like my mom does. Yes. We like to cook the red chili on the side because a lot of times there's children or somebody that doesn't want a real hot spice in their chili or their, in their soup. So we put it on the side. Tell me about that when, when locals come in. I'm sure they know about pozole, but when you get the tourists, tell me how the tourists like our New Mexican pozole. They love pozole. We serve it a lot. Um, and we do serve it with the the red sauce or the green sauce on the side so that they can flavor it to taste because tourists a lot of times aren't used to our our hot spicy red chili or green chili so 
So for the tourists and the kids, you can get your chili on the side. On the side. Okay, Marie, so you have all of your ingredients in here. You put them all together in the pot and just let it simmer all day? Yes, I do. And I like to put it in a crock pot, actually, and it took most of the day. Which you have brought some that's cooked, I so have we, some we don't have to wait all ready. day. Yay. Yes, and would you like to try some? I would love to try some, and I want to tell you I, I'm contributing. I have tortillas. Oh, wonderful. Warming back here on this Jenner range. It's got a griddle that's chrome infused. Look how clean it stays. I love that. So can I contribute the tortillas? It looks too nice to be a griddle. <laughs> I don't cook like you, but I, I can heat up like nobody's business. Oh, so I heat it up some nice tortillas. And warm. Yes. All right, and I'll let you guys do that because you are the experts. I'll pour some in here. Let me get you some nice. soup. That is beautiful. You can see all the spices and the pork is just tender and cooked perfectly. Yummy. I like red chili on mine. How about you, ladies? I love red chili red on mine. Chili, yes. Red chili on it. Not on the side. <laughs> <laughs> so let's put it on. Let's do it. And this is how you would serve it at the restaurant if you order it on top. Just pour it on at Church Street Cafe. Just pour it on the top. Beautiful. What a beautiful dish. That reminds me of Christmas. Doesn't it? And don't forget the limes. All right. That's all. Can we share? And lime is always good. You can just kind of squeeze it a little on the side. Mm. Gives it just that little bit of citrusy, tangy flavor. That's right. All right. There we go. All right. Cheers. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> you can have Christmas anytime. That's right. Mmm. Thank you so much. Good. And we'll be back <laughs> right after this. <laughs> And Marie, I want to thank you both so much for coming today and cooking for me. And I just found out that you have a cookbook, Grandma. Yes, I do. And it's at the restaurant. You can pick it up at the restaurant at Church Street Cafe. I'm in Old Town, right behind the church, off of Rio Grande and Mountain. Yep. Easy to find. Excellent food. Excellent service. And all of the recipes from the show, as well as the recipes that we uh, made today, are on southwesthotchefs.com. And we'll see you next time at the same time and place for another delicious episode of Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants. Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants is brought to you in part by Heritage Hotels and Resorts, your somewhere special. Robin West, an independent stylist for Stella and Dot Jewelry. Via Miriam Coffee, the official coffee of Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants. And Builder Source Appliance Galleries, Albuquerque, Santa Fe, Las Cruces, and El Paso. Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants is produced by Cliff Dweller Productions. <laughs>